In this video, I am going to discuss about uh, surface tension on liquid droplet. Now let us consider a spherical droplet of a liquid whose uh, radius is small r. Now when you consider the spherical droplet of a liquid, the surface tension is acting at the interface of uh, air and the surface of the water that's why if you observe a liquid droplet from the rain water the shape of the rain water droplet is a spherical shape because of the surface tension developed now let us consider a spherical droplet whose radius is small r or the diameter is small d and uh, sigma be the surface tension acting on the surface of liquid if you cut this uh, spherical droplet into two equal halves like this The surface tension is developed in this direction or the surface tension is developed like this whose direction is in towards the liquid molecules because of the cohesive forces. Now the direction of the intensity of the pressure let us consider P be the intensity of pressure. So the direction of pressure is like this. If you cut the spherical droplet into two equal halves, surface tension and pressure forces are developed like this. Now, because of this surface tension, tensile forces are developed whose magnitude is sigma into circumferential area that is equals to pi into d. Because of this intensity of the pressure, pressure forces are developed whose magnitude is pressure into pi by 4 d square. Under equilibrium conditions, the surface tension and the intensity of the pressure should be equal that is sigma into pi d is equals to p into pi by 4 d square that implies sigma is equals to P into D by 4 that implies P is equals to 4 sigma by D. This is the intensity of the pressure on the liquid droplet. Similarly, if you consider a spherical hollow bubble like a soap bubble, if you consider the case of soap bubble, soap bubble has Two, surf, uh, two contact surfaces. One is uh, inside the surface of the soap bubble and uh, other is the outside the surface of the soap bubble. So therefore, under equilibrium conditions, sigma into pi d is equals to or 2 into sigma into pi d because there are two surfaces are developed. That is 2 into sigma into pi d is equals to P into pi by 4 d square. Why? Because one is outside the soap bubble and other is inside the soap bubble. One surface is outside the surface area between air and the uh, surface of the liquid. Therefore, if you solve the above equation, you will get intensity of pressure on the soap bubble is equals to 8 sigma divided by d.